All right, we are Honey Badger Automation. You've probably all heard of home automation where you can turn on your lights and regulate your thermostat via your iPhone. Why don't more people do it? Um, we're going to propose a way of making home automation easier and having a larger market share. All right, so existing home automation systems, why are they bad? Right now, you can do it in one of two ways. You can have a radio frequency signal or you can communicate over power lines. These are both flawed because they're very expensive. What you have to do is buy a base station that is capable of communicating with your lights and your thermostat and all of your devices before you can actually do any of the uh, home automation itself. So these cost anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars and it's preventing a lot of people from actually entering the market who would love to automate their home. So our business goals in founding this idea were to make it easy for the consumer to hook up this system. Uh, don't make me think, Steve Krug, that's a, a great little book. And it, it, it's basically saying you don't want the customer to have to think about drivers and installation. You just want it to plug in and work. So that's what we wanted. And also we wanted to break the price barrier and make it possible for more people to afford this stuff. So. The Honey Badger platform, what it does is it uses a home's existing Wi-Fi network, something that homes are already, most of them have. So you don't need an expensive base station and it's available as a system with a few as one inexpensive module. You can buy one light switch for around $50 that hooks up to your home Wi-Fi network and that's all you need. You already have one home automation system. Right? It's extremely simple to install and use. That's what we did this weekend, and I think we made a pretty elegant user interface. All right, I'm going to pass it off for some market validation with Mark. Thank you, Brian. So our system is trying to break the price barrier, right? So instead of having to spend $1,000 to get an expensive home automation system, that you can end up just getting one piece. And so we thought, okay, well, what's that first piece that people are going to buy? What are the major uses that would be the most popular? So we had a couple of ideas, and then we wanted to test our hypothesis. So we went around the room, we talked to many of you, so thank you very much for your feedback, and we learned quite a few things. So one of which was that the ability to just get readings on temperature humidity, that's of no interest. It's the ability to control and change things. That's where the value is. When it comes to what our top idea was, which was a thermostat, the value proposition proposition was very clear and understandable. You can save money and that remotely you can affect and you can change your, uh, your thermostat. So people tend to like that. We had another idea which is well, what happens if people leave their oven on and they've left and they're you know, a half hour away they, they don't want to turn around or they would normally have to turn around and go back. That's not actually as valuable but there was an interesting idea that came up from the feedback which is what if you're leaving work and you, you know, are going to get home and you want to throw a pizza in the oven is to be able to remotely tell your oven to preheat so that it's ready when you get home. Or another step beyond that is you leave something in the oven in the morning and then you just turn it on from work so that it'll actually heat up or cook your food so when you come home your food is ready. And there was one final thing that we had which was that the wireless capability should be built into the device itself as opposed to something setting on top. So after we had that first round of customer feedback, then we pivoted a little bit. Yeah Pivot! And we sent out another survey to our own personal network to test against some of these other hypotheses. So one of which was, what are some of the uses of home automation? So two things that came out, the thermostat idea, and then also being able to control your lights. We also want to test our hypothesis of the price barrier. And this is something that consumers said, the reason I don't do home automation, it's too expensive to get into. So our idea of a piecewise system, it has some merit. Then we also want to test our hypotheses of the value proposition for the thermostat. So what would people actually use it for? And we found that people have different perspectives on what it would be used, but that ultimately 93% of people would be interested in the thermostat. And there was one uh, interesting thing, actually, if you can go back, was that uh, programmable thermostats are actually kind of difficult to use, and, but one step further is to provide some recommendations on how to actually save energy. So meaning what temperature should you set it at for how long, depending on when you'll be away. Okay, sorry, I wanna, we only have a little bit more time, so we want to skip over that. Uh, what we did this weekend, what we have accomplished, we created an easy-to-use installer that would connect our device to a home, uh, home Wi-Fi network.
We also made the device host a simple HTML page. All you have to do is focus your browser, point your browser at the device itself, and it tells you the temperature. And we also made a smartphone app which can tell you the temperature of your house. And that's all of our time. Thank you for listening, and we'd love your feedback. Hi. Nice presentation. I really like the fact that you went back to two different uh, groups of uh, market validation, so that was very nice. Um, now, let, help me understand this again. Um, so, I have three lamps in my living room. How do I control those? All right. So, you get a, a what, uh, base lamps that you plug into the wall? Yeah. You buy an outlet that's made okay. by us for around fifty dollars. Okay. Electrical outlet, you from per, the store. Go to Home Depot. Lamp. What's per, that? Per lamp. Per, per lamp. Per, per, per okay. lamp. That's what I want to. Know. Right. Okay. Yes. You, you buy one module per thing you want to automate. That's a existing home automation systems. You buy the the several hundred dollar base station, and then the modules themselves would be slightly cheaper. Right now, you can get the uh, Z Wave one for for a little bit less than fifty bucks, whereas ours would be slightly more. But this is, this is geared towards maybe more people who are frightened to actually get into the real home automation stuff and buy this expensive base station. Mm -hmm. See, they, they would be wanting to automate their Christmas lights, or you have your three lamps. It would be definitely more cost effective to just do the three lamps, yeah. right? You, you buy the plug from Home Depot, you plug it into your computer via USB, run the installer, you just tell it what your home Wi-Fi network's name is and the password, it hooks on, and then right away, you've got the smartphone app, and you can tell it to turn on and off. And you can see from over the internet whether your lamps are on and off also. So in terms of a go-to-market strategy, is it your intention to um, develop relationships with outlets like Home Depot to... That's correct. That's, that's our, our initial plan. Uh, okay. For future expansion with, with the whole oven idea, we actually plan to uh, maybe license our software and the hardware design into existing ovens so that you can actually make an oven wireless or other existing products. So you have a multiple pronged approach, so you would, you would address right. OEMs. Well, that's, that's in the future. The, the, <laughs> the one pronged approach right now is to make a few simple devices that we can actually put together. We actually made the, uh, the Wi-Fi thermometer, that was the original pitch, this weekend, and it works. You can point the browser at it or go on the smartphone app and you can tell what temperature it is in this room. All right. So we made that. That it's about fifty dollars. Uh, we could sell for about fifty dollars. It was about forty, thirty to forty dollars worth of parts. Okay. All right. okay. Tim, how Are we done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.